the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, let's, 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 let's pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come and worship and praise your holy name. You said when two or three God in your name, you've been in the midst of them. Father, we never invite you to see the presence of the Holy Spirit. Lead us and guide us all true. Father, we submit to your will. Father, we pray, Lord, that what is discussed today will penetrate our hearts and those who listen. Father, we ask you to, 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 to take care of the and draw those that you want into this discussion. All we do gonna do is just lift up the name of Jesus. And we're gonna go ahead and just minister what you told us to do. We just go preach the good news through all the world and to grow in the things of God. We walk by faith, not by sight. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. Hey, good brother. I was sitting there and I wanted to uh, talk about and, and this is your, this is my favorite today. Uh, fault finding. It's uh, it said fault finding. Is it a justification uh, to for hate uh, to hate or hurt your brothers? And the reason I brought that up, and that's the title. The reason I brought it up was uh, I was uh, listening to, and I'm gonna come off this. I was, you know, I've been doing my famous uh have you check your fruit today on tiktok and i had a young man who I had a comment and then i had one of my work co-workers uh was talking about they did they did a scripture called romans and i'm going to show it to you romans 9 verse 13 and I want you to see about it. I don't know if we talked about it last week or not, but let's see what it's showing here. You see, you see that Romans 9, 13? Yeah. And, and uh, when I was checking, I said, have you checked your fruit today? Uh, and then I told him what the fruits, are, you know, I was saying about in the, in the TikTok when I said, the fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there's no law mm -hmm. uh, and one of the one of the people on the TikTok put that scripture in there, uh 9 13 and you know and, and it says as is written jacob i love but esau i have hated and i was trying to sit there and and, and try to figure out what 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 the person is trying to say because all he did was put that scripture in there right and so I, I did another TikTok, and I was sitting there saying that the the uh, what God does is what if He wants to. If you read the rest of that that scripture, I think have you read Romans? You oh, I obviously have. But <laughs> God said, let me see if I can bring it up real quick. God, there was a there was some people that actually questioned that in the Bible with Paul. Uh, concerning that, and and it was like God is like I have mercy on whoever I want to have mercy on, and and I was uh, have wrath on those who I want to have wrath on, right? And mm -hmm. it's it's because that's it. He does that. That's his option. But it doesn't. But the you know whole point I was saying was he gave us a commandment. You know, especially us as Christians, he gave us a commandment to love one another. So mm -hmm. that does not. This and I put it up there on the screen for you can see it, where it says here, uh, starting in verse thirteen, as is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. See, so what? See, some you see how that scripture fourteen is responding to thirteen for people who may say, well, you know, God hate, right? And, and and I put down that he only hated one person. Did that hold on, hold on. Let me let me uh pull up my info so I can see your scripture. 
Okay. I apologize. I, I normally have this stuff already. But I was uh, dealing with some technical difficulties. Okay. Uh, that, that, my, uh, my camera and my mic wasn't working when I first logged in. Woo! Yeah, right. I'll see you. Uh, at least I got the, the mic to work. But, uh, Yeah, Romans nine thirteen. Yeah. whom I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Uh huh. But then it is not of him that will, right? More than that run. But a God that soul that showeth mercy. Right. For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. Uh-huh. That I might show my power in you. Yeah. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Right. Okay. Keep going. I think you need more of it though. Okay. Therefore have, have he mercy on whom he will have mercy. Yes. And whom he will Mm-hmm. Yeah. That will say then unto me, why doth he yet find fault? <laughs> he hath resisted to me. Uh-huh. Go ahead. But oh man, who art thou that replies against God? Who art thou? Right. That if he form, say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? Come on now. Has not the pot of power over the clay? Right. And the same want to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Yeah. What if God, willing to show his wrath oh. and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessel of wrath, spirit to destruction? Yes. And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessel of mercy, which he had prepared unto glory. Yes. Us whom we have called not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Uh-huh. And he says also in Ose, I will call them my people, yeah. which were not my people. Right. And, and her beloved, which is not beloved. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. Where shall they be called the children of the living God? Yes. There is also Christ concerning Israel. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, uh-huh. and Israel shall be saved. For he will finish the work and cut it short in, in righteousness. Yeah. Because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. Uh-huh. Isaiah said before, except the Lord of Sabor, the Baal, had left a sea, a sea, he had been as Sodoma. He didn't go more, right? And, and yeah. that, the point is, so, so, go ahead. the thing is, yeah. it is because God has given us free will. Yes. And has not uh, fashioned us to where we did not have choice. Right. In that, you can be made as a vessel of dishonor, but be, you know, uh, uh, changed to a vessel of honor, which is what we are, yeah. who are Christians today, who are called, you know, the the, the uncircumcised or, or whoever you, whatever you want to call it. There, there was a whole lot of names for for those who were not of God, right? You know, not the chosen chosen uh, people, right? So in that, you you see that. Because we have that, we're not being controlled by God. Right. 
given this ability for us to actually live this life, we think that we are at odds with God. Uh huh. You know, if if a child dies, then a lot of people, why why did God take my child? Why did God allow this to happen? Right. You know, and, and we. And to be honest, it, it it really upsets me because it had God had nothing to do with that. Oh, it was gonna happen. So he had given us, man, everything that pertains to life and God. He gave us that ability. Mm-hmm. It is our fault, man's fault, that these things actually happen. Yeah. And if if you're chosen to be a vessel of dishonor by God. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you're going to have art with God. Yes. You know, because no nothing that has a free will and a mind to think will actually think that way. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you what? didn't have a mind <laughs> that was free to think the way you want to think, then obviously you wouldn't think that way. Yes. Now, here's, here's the question, though. The, the 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 point that I think the person was, they were trying to make this is also part of the the people that are uh, Israelites or black Hebrews uh, I think they were trying to say is that they there's a reason behind why we should be able to hate Esau uh, or the Edomites because that's where they came from I mean that's the descendants of Esau right his children. Uh, are called Edomites, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 so what I'm saying is to love one another, right? The commandment that Christ gave in John uh, 13, 34, he said, a new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. The person was saying, responding basically saying is, well, God hated this joke over here and he also hated all his descendants. So we all need to love one another. We don't all, we only love at least that group of people. And uh-huh. I, I would cater, cater back to everybody is that he's really talking at first, the commandment he gave is for Christians to love one another. You know, yeah. And, and, yeah. And then we show also our love for God is to go preach the gospel, the good news to the world. Mm-hmm. So, so to degree, just like in the Good Samaritan, we are, we will, it's almost like when you told the, the, the story, go and do likewise, is that as Christians, we also demonstrate not only by words, but by deeds, is that if we see somebody in need, we want to be able to help that person and show the love of God through our actions. So he wants us to love uh not only one another, but also to love our fellow man. Because Christ came to what? Save the world, not condemn the world. Mm-hmm. So so I think that was where the the the, the, the uh, diversion, we diverged from the this scripture the group is Romans uh, 13, 9, 13, and my commandment or oh, the command I was reading to everyone is to love one another, right? And the fruits of the spirit, the Steve Christ, is, and, and the fruits of the spirit is to what? Love, right? That that's what the fruits of the spirit is about: love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness. So we're supposed to bear fruit, and one of the fruits is love. Matter of fact, the foundation of the fruits of the spirit is love. Uh, so so that's where that conversation came in at which is we don't need to love we only have to love we don't need to love the edomites and <laughs> that's another story by itself to you the truth because i was listening to uh some of the videos they sent to me about the edomites have you heard about the you you know edomites are right i just told you saw descendants <laughs> Oh, let me turn this mic on. There you go. <laughs> uh, 
and 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 they really do have a big issue with those people uh as far as the least of black hebrews they got a real big problem with those people uh I, they had videos showing that they had uh <laughs> some of them are considered romans uh, and they're showing how they're very evil people and and it's almost the point of saying if most of them are romans then they're saying that those are the devils you know like a nation of islam will call you know sometimes they call white people devils uh and and i was i was i was trying to say really that's not what we should call people we should love people not demonize people uh and then the other question you and i had a couple of sessions many ago was if they are sinners if people are sinners which you all have said it comes short of the word of god where did the remember i talked a couple of weeks ago where did it, where did the justification comes to like the sale of witchcraft where did the christians where in, where in the new testament we were supposed to burn these people torture these people and you remember like the uh spanish inquisition where did it where in the christianity is to torture people to make them confess that they were christian right and and then and then kill them for heretic right you you, you they punish them until they confess that they were heretics uh just brutal brutal killing of people uh we also know about the slave trade and all the other stuff where did where's the justification to do evil or punish people that we perceive as evil in christianity and there is none there's no just uh uh you you paul you muted it though you muted it let me see if i can do that I'm, it has to be i look like i let me see if i'm doing that one second oh, that's me can you hear me now yeah i hear you yeah okay so you here you have man complaining that god has created vessels for honor and dishonor. Yes. And then we have men that are stepping into a form of God. Yeah. And trying to say what is honor and dishonor when right. it comes to human lives. Right. So in all actuality, it's all based on confusion okay and demonically influenced because man left up to his own devices yeah says that we are desperately wicked yes and when we're left to start thinking on what is righteous and what isn't Mm -hmm. by our standards yes sir we will always be corrupt mm -hmm. because we should always put ourselves in that corrupt yeah. i hope first uh-huh uh-huh but that won't happen so we'll start picking standards that we approve of and that we can adhere to and then using that to judge others 